Please be seated. Friends, we have been invited here this evening to share with Max and Karen a very important moment in their lives. In the years that they have been together, their love and understanding of each other has grown and matured. And now they have decided to live their lives together as husband and wife. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? The mother and I do. Hey. Thank you. You look great. Thank you. So do you. I try. <laughs> Karen and Max. I am certain that you have considered the seriousness of marriage and have come to this moment prepared in body and mind and soul to assume the responsibilities that make a marriage successful. I want to remind you that marriage is a companionship that involves mutual sharing of both responsibilities and of joy. When companions share a sorrow, it is halved. When they share a joy, it is doubled. Nothing is easier than saying words, and nothing is harder than living them day after day. What you promise today must be renewed and redecided tomorrow and each day that stretches out before you. At the end of the ceremony today, legally, you will be husband and wife, but you still must decide each day that you want to be married. Please respond by saying, I will, after this question. Max, will you take Karen to be your lawful and wedded wife Will you promise to love her and cherish her, to honor and sustain her in sickness as in health, in poverty and in wealth, and to be true to her exclusively of all things until death do you part? I will. Karen, will you take Max? to be your lawful and wedded husband. Will you promise to love him and cherish him, to honor and sustain him in sickness and in health, in poverty and in wealth, and to be true to him exclusively of all things until death do you part? I will. Karen and Max have asked Ben Broadhead to present a reading. Words of Wisdom by Bill Sweetman. Our wish for both of you today is that your marriage will bring much happiness and joy to each of you. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created, and it is created in the following ways. It is never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is at no time taking the other for granted. It's having a mutual sense of values and common objectives is standing together facing life. It's forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It's doing things for each other not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It's speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude. It's not looking for perfection in each other. It's cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It's having the capacity to forgive and forget. It's giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It's finding room for things of the spirit. It's a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and obligation is reciprocal. It's not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner.
max and carry please join hands and repeat after me i max take you karen i max take you karen to be my lawfully wedded wife to be my lawfully wedded wife my constant friend my constant friend and my love from this day forward and my love from this day forward in the presence of our family and friends in the presence of our family and friends i offer you my solemn vow i offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful partner to be your faithful partner in sickness and in health in sickness and in health in good times and in bad in good times and in bad and in joy as well as in sorrow and in joy as well as sorrow i promise to love you unconditionally i promise to love you unconditionally to support you in your goals to support you in your goals to trust and respect you to trust and respect you to laugh with you and to cry with you to laugh with you and to cry with you and to cherish you for so long as we both shall live and to cherish you for as long as we both shall live I Karen take you Max I Karen take you Max to be my lawfully wedded husband to be my lawfully wedded husband my constant friend my constant friend and my love from this day forward and my love from this day forward in the pe presence of our family and friends in the presence of our family and friends I offer you my solemn vow I offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful partner to be your faithful partner in sickness and in health in sickness and in health in good times and in bad in good times and in bad in joy as well as in sorrow in joy as well as in sorrow i promise to love you unconditionally i promise to love you unconditionally to support you in your goals to support you in your goals to trust and respect you to trust and respect you to laugh with you and to cry with you to laugh with you and to cry with you and to cherish you for so long as we both shall live and to cherish you for so long as we both shall live Max and Karen have chosen to give each other a ring the circle represents that which has no end just as their love for one another and their marriage shall have no end as long as you both shall live Max, please repeat after me. Karen, I give you this ring. Karen, I give you this ring. As an eternal symbol of my love. As an eternal symbol of my love and commitment to you and commitment to you Karen please repeat after me Max I give you this ring Max I give you this ring as an eternal symbol of my love as an eternal symbol of my love and commitment to you and commitment to you Max and Karen, these two separate candles separate, symbolize your separate lives. I ask that each, that each of you take one lit candle and that together you light the third candle but extinguish not the first two.
we did it. <laughs> Max and Karen, I remind you that in marriage, you do not lose yourself. You add something new, a relationship, the capacity to merge into one another without losing sight of your individual selves. Karen and Max, these vows that you have taken today symbolize your marriage bond. May their meaning sink into your hearts and bind your lives together by devotion and faithfulness to one another. In mutual affection and ever deepening love for one another, may you establish a home filled with the spirit of love, truth, and joy. Inasmuch as Max and Karen have consented to be united together in marriage and have made a public profession before you of their pledge to each other. By virtue of the authority conferred upon me by the laws of the state of Georgia, I pronounce you husband and wife. Max, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Good kiss. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, it is my honor and privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Max and Karen Spire. <laughs>